Hey guys, this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Unwrecked the Diamond. We are playing Mr. Kane today. Another Ionian champion. Uh, we have a gross top plane Varus who's a one trick top Varus smurf. That is gross. Uh, we also have a big Ash uh, smurf as well. They have a smurf duo queue. Main band Evelyn. Again, Evelyn should be banned every game. Split pushing Yorick. Again, if he is a Yorick player, he's probably very sad about the, uh, the hole breaker nerf. Um, so hole breaker was genuinely broken last patch on uh, thingy thingy thingy. Just to put perspective, by the way, everybody, on how crazy strong new accounts are, right? I have not, and I think it's probably been quite evident. I've not really tryharded on this account. We're kind of vibing. We're just playing for fun. We're also doing a challenge that I'm playing a lot of just Ionian champions for fun. We are two wins away from diamond. And this is my 50th game. So if I win, let's say, this game and the next game, I get Diamond in 51 games on a completely fresh account while not tryharding. That's where, like, you know, I'm by the time this account gets Diamond, my, my good, good MMR is actually going to naturally run out a little bit of, like, crazy LP gains for no reason. Um, like, hello? I get no help? Ash is just AFK. What? She doesn't help me at my buff, and she's just standing AFK as well. Um. Well, that's not good. Now she's not AFK. Wow, that's kind of irritating. Oh, has anyone watched Shogun, by the way? I watched episode one. Oh, my days. It's going to be so good. Oh. Well, partially old unranked to diamond stuff. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to tell you guys a trade secret. I never went quick on kind. Not purpose, but I never try hard it on purpose. When my, when my, the peak of my YouTube channel, like you're talking 2018, 2019, and people loved Unranked to Diamond. Yeah, I didn't really want that series, those series to end because obviously they were doing very well. You know, the quickest I've ever got an account to Diamond, and this was when it was actually hard to climb, was 50 games. And that was off stream. Like... It's not hard. Like, I can get there quite quick. And hell, if I did, if I properly tryharded on this account, you could probably get to Diamond in 30 games now. Uh, maybe less. So, you know, I think sometimes when it comes to a, a YouTuber doing a series, yeah, we're purposely sometimes not wanting the series to end stupidly fast. Because then it's like, oh, what do I do now? I need ranged XP. We are going to go blue uh, cane, by the way. Yeah, it makes sense for a Varus to get uh, ganked again. If you guys have been watching my content, I've been against cheese top planers. And what, the last three or four times I've been against a cheese top planer, I forced them, well, not forced them to rage quit, but they rage quit because I just gank them over and over and over again. And as I've always said, if someone's playing something like a Vayne or a Varus top lane, their mental is going to be terrible. They're, they're, a, they're a cheese top player. So, like, they're, they are the target to 100% gank. Ranged XP. That was really annoying timing. Why did Rakan roam then? And decent ranged XP. Can't, I, I don't obviously want my laner to die, but I'm kind of happy with getting... And they killed a Mumu. That ain't too bad. That ain't too bad. Killed him anyway. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, no, look. Wait. I've already got a third XP ready to go to blue form. Oh, yeah. If you don't know what Shogun is, um, it's probably... And I'm not even over-exaggerating here because I've watched episode one and it is incredible. It's probably the best depiction in, like, media 
of like ancient Japan samurai shogun stuff like that. It's oh my days. Wow, she actually got that kill. It's so good. Like oh, it's uh, it's got like. So Portugal had the kind of the... I think this is a true thing. Portugal had, like... They were the first people that kind of discovered that Japan was real. So, like, for years, Portugal got quite rich from just trading with Japan. And nobody knew that Japan existed. And then other people discovered Japan existed. And the Portuguese did not obviously want other people to discover that. Oh. Okay. Um, I, I, again controversial opinion potentially as well is anybody else stupidly bored of karma yet like oh i'd like that champion just to go away and just become a support properly again so it's very annoying that there's a karma in every game right now wait okay he should have 100 percent just gone and done that wow oh What the heck? Ash is getting zoned. Ash is getting killed. At least Rakan took the kill. That's kind of funny. They're not letting Ash get to lane. That's crazy. When Nautilus gets there, they should be fine. Yeah, one of the main uh, Lordy Shogun-y people everyone will recognize. He's the guy that some people will definitely know his name. I don't know his name personally. But like... <laughs> Okie dokie. Um... He's been in so much stuff. He's been like, if it's like without sounding bad, they're doing a Japanese thing in media. He's probably in it. Last Samurai, he was in it. Uh, when in in End Game, when they went to Tokyo with Ronan and he was killing Yakuza, he was the main Yakuza guy. Like practically anything Japanese, he's in it. It's like him. It's either him or Ken Watanabe. I know Ken Watanabe's name because like. Ken Watanabe. Um, but yeah. Do you think I got disconnect? No, he didn't. I just, I think he was shopping, guys. I think he was shopping for some tea cakes. He was shopping. He doing a bit of window shopping. We're not too far off form. Oh. Mm -hmm. Is it crazy that you're alive? Am I dead? Ah! This was the day you almost caught Captain Jack Sparrow. Yeah, he was in John Wick. He's a really good actor. I think... Was he in... No, I don't think he was. Was he wasn't in uh What the heck is going on here? What was that series that started incredibly good and then became really bad? The one with Anthony Hopkins that they made like robots that were like people. What was that one called Westworld? Was he in that? It rings a bell Oh He was in that? Yeah, it rings a bell he was in that. That show started so good and then became so bad. Like everyone talks about Game of Thrones. To me, the biggest show that was amazing and then became garbage is that show. It was so good in season one. Oh.
I'm so I'm very near transformation. I thought you'd give me a percentage. No percentages here. Friends. Hey, nice. Oh. Okay. But I want XP. That's all I want. Dobby wants XP. Fair feel. Oh, we'll lose. Again, I don't think Kane is the healthiest champion within League, but he's a good, he's a very cool design. That's the thing I'll always admit. Oof. Wait, Mumu's going bot lane. Okie dokie, Jones. I'll do this, I guess. Yeah, and obviously the enemy all in is so much stronger than our all in, so. Right, obviously, I'm looking for bare minimum five because that's when my team gets advantage or bigger advantage with the voidy might things. That's how I got to all in attempt. And it looks like it's going well for him. And it does. It's very mixed emotion when like that happens because on one hand, I'm sad that a teammate died. But on the other hand, I'm kind of happy that a Varus top smurf one trick died. That makes sense. I think that makes sense. Do you get any passive experience at all for your form? Like, what happens if someone's really bad at the game? Like, genuinely, they are really bad. Will they just never transform? Okay. Two malignants, karma once again. So boring. Hi there. I'll get him, Cap'n! Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Cap'n! Ooh! <laughs> Lives under water in the pineapple sea. I can't remember the song. <laughs> I can't hear you. Something you wish, SpongeBob SquarePants. What the heck? I got 2k gold and I'm ready to transport. Wow, they. they okay. GG, buddy. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm running! I'm dead. That was a bad idea. I take no responsibility for that. That was Nautilus's idea. Also, they got rid of the statue of this. Someone pointed that out to me yesterday, I think, on stream. There's no there's no statue in Hubris anymore. Oh, transform! Transformers, robots in disguise. Transformers, robots with big eyes. Hush, little baby, don't you cry. It's everybody's favorite SpongeBob character. Lads. Rakan's gonna turn. Ooh, clean. Karma's trying to roam more. I swear this Karma is trying to play Karma like a cat arena, like legit. She's spending more time. She's genuinely spending more time trying to roam than in mid lane. I'm guessing that this is gone, by the way. Which I'm kind of. I'm okay. It's not? Dude. Do you not know objectives exist at all? He's done dragon, but he, he's not doing anything that side of the map. Hmm. Oh, 
Um, you flashed when I was inside you. That's not good. That timing. Why is there a can there? That kind of screwed me. Did not expect a random Rakan above me, if I'm completely honest. Huh? Don't be taking my red. What are you doing? XP, my dude. No. I'm not even going to get it. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Like, that's just stupid fundamentally stupid one you're taking jungle xp away before 1200 smite secondly could i think i would have got that as a shared buff if she waited for me to spawn for one second but she didn't wait uh, that's just like really greedy play style Yeah, I don't even know if I would have got that shared. Maybe not. But, like, then she shouldn't be taking it at all. Obviously, one of the most effective ways of climbing in solo queue is not caring at all about teammates. That I got. Whole break. Oh, this poor... Oh, no. No, you get it. You get shared team buffs at 20 minutes when Baron spawns, but you can get two people can have a buff i think at 15 minutes i believe also this is a yorick one trick that doesn't read patch notes right the last patch was literally riot nerfing that interaction that it doesn't really exist anymore in ergot it's still strong on ergot but it's less effective well then you wouldn't rush it though if it's strong on ergot but it, it, the main reason it was op doesn't exist anymore you definitely would not rush the item. I'm having gold. This karma always wants me. <laughs> I went well. The cheese pick died and I got a kill. Happy days. <laughs> That's what you call a good situation. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, they did dragon. I mean, the Amumu is, I don't know, he feels a little bit lost this game. But I do think Amumu in modern day league is a bit of a questionable pick. He's so slow, like temp... I would say jungle tempo is about fast, 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 and the Mumu's just slow. Every like, what can he do? Ash is getting TP'd on. Genuinely, in the nicest way possible, this Karma should not play Karma. She should play Katarina. She's been more focused about global map things than anything else. So at that rate... them without Avaris. I think that's what you call a GG. Why do I keep getting pinged? Like, bro, tempo, tempo, tempo. They're like, let me have all the farm. Yeah, I'm doing tempo plays. Why do you care about a little bit of farm? Care about the bigger picture, my dudes. <laughs> Is he coming here? Oh, he is. The Varus ran away. That looked weird. It was running a long way. 
Wait, did a Mumu think he got killed? I think a Mumu think thought it got killed there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I think because I kited it away, he was like, oh, that's dead. That's quite funny. <laughs> So now everybody will get red buff, by the way, because it's past 20 minutes. Oh my god, that is so much slower. You don't get to split push if you don't have minions, my dude. Sorry about that. Wait, does he have not max W? Got a lot of gold. Not every battle is a fight. Uh, um. Oh yes. This is the right More damage. All the damage. Yeah, I don't think Urgot should be rushing Holebreaker anymore with the patch that fixed it being broken on him. It might not be terrible on him, but it should not be a rush item. There's no way. Maya! Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can you guys hear that? I don't even know what she's barking about. Hi, Mike. God damn it. What are you even parking about? I'm checking my cameras. It's people! There's people down the street and she's like, I am offended. You are in my domain. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. No! I couldn't get inside? Maya, you pleb! Ah! 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 Ooh. Ah! I'm just barking when she does and it confuses her. Ah! Ruh, ruh. It's not working. <laughs> Uh, bye bye. Oh, it's the other Vizsler again. They take him to the dog field. I think he went to the dog field and now he's coming back. So she's very highly offended. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. I'm really squishy to tank Baron, I just realized. <laughs> whoa, bless you. I couldn't get inside again! God damn it. You only hear her when I'm when I bark. Yeah, probably because of my sound gate. It you won't the sound gate will ignore what she's doing, but when I'm actively talking any sound when I'm talking, she um then it will be let through, basically. Man Let me in. And god damn it, Jeebus. A dirty, you dirty mind. That only served to sharpen my focus and my dirty. speed. Oh, 
get the spray bottle out, calm him down. Are you just split pushing for no reason right now? Let's see if I can stop him. But he really ran away. Where'd he go? Tell me why. I mean, I mean. Let me in, let me in, let me in, thank you. Collected! Oh, I hate Collector. Wait, should I have bought a Collector myself this game? I don't know, maybe not. Alright, we're losing because for some reason we're not grouping and Huawei is just farming my jungle. Not really sure why Huawei is just farming jungle, if I'm completely honest. That's a bit of an odd one. Because, like, this Samira, by the way, I, I'm going to be honest, I kind of didn't realise she was very fed. She's 15 kills. Yeah, I did not I did not realise that. I was kind of going, thinking, oh, I'll just murder you. Yeah, she's stronger than me. And we you beat a Samira, obviously, by not letting her all in. So, that's kind of just what happened there. She wasn't, she couldn't get on the Ash or the... Oh, weird, man. This game's okay for the challenge. Seven kills, eight assists, 170 gold. Uh, sorry, 170 farm. Our gold probably is not too bad. Again, I have, I did have someone. Was it on Twitter, YouTube? I can't remember where it was. There was some person saying like, you know, with Mace, basically me having no chance of winning. Like, why keep going? Why keep doing it? It's fun. Like, I'm to be honest. Me and the Twitch channel, I've kind of discussed. I actually kind of like that, like, oh, you're doing... I'm doing a week, obviously, of Ionia. I don't know if I would do a week, but I think we might have streams every now and then that I'm like, right, we're doing only Noxus champions or something, you know? I think that is just kind of fun. So, yeah, in the future, we might do streams that are focused on just one region. Um, when, you know, not part of a Riot challenge or anything like that. I think that would be kind of fun. Pretty fun. Well, like, I can do regions that don't have many, like, because I'll be only doing a maximum of one day, not a week. Twitch chat all went, apparently, Icathia. Like, isn't that, yeah, that's just Jax. Don't know if I'll just, you know. <laughs> yeah, like, we got Void, Shadow Isle, Bilgewater, Demacia Noxus. Um, you know, there's quite a lot that we can do. Obviously, in this challenge, I had to pick between Ionia, Demacia, and Freljord, and I picked Ionia because it had the most champions. If it was like a one-day challenge, I might have picked Freljord. But because it was a whole week, I had to go with the region with the most champs. Yeah, Shirima. So I think it'll be fun to do every now and then. So I'm either building Collector, Opportunity, or Axiom Arc. Hmm. What to build? Level 17, making our way to 18. I want to go for more kills. That uh, Moomoo Moo build looks a bit weird. Nice. Yeah, Moo Moo is just, I don't know, not great. He's just too slow. Oh, 
Urgot is still just split pushing her. Bottom of three T's, 30 months of prime. Yeah, this is just nonsensical OP. There's no skill to play Kane. <laughs> the champ just does all the work. It's crazy. It is crazy. <laughs> That's the split push I got. Oh, I just wanted one more kill. Away back to way too... That sounds really weird to say. Away back to way... But he backed away too quick. A little bit of... A uh, little bit of cat, a KDA protecting, I think, right there. Oh, they could do Baron. That's like, honestly the enemy's play. If they're smart, they go rush Baron. Three of Two of us are dead, including me, the jungler. What? Why aren't they just, like not on Baron right now? Rakan wants to, you can tell. No, they're they're thinking about it, but they might be too late. Oh. They're not too late if Ash is ignoring it. I mean, it's not it's good for them if Ash is ignoring. If Ash wasn't ignoring, I think they could have stopped it. Oh well, while well, they get Baron. I mean, no, I, I'm not saying Amumu as a champion is bad as his design. It's just the way, like, obviously Amumu is a, an easier to play champion and you need them in the game because you need all ranges of skill for people to play. But it's what I'm saying. He's a bad jungler in modern day league because of the tempo of the game is so high. He just cannot keep up with the tempo of the game. Part of it has to do that he's just an old champion, and again, older champions just aren't as good as newer champions. That definitely is part of it, but, um... Yeah. Whoa, collected again, man. See, we can lose this game straight up. We can 100% lose this game. Samira is so insane. That's Penta. Wow. Did we lose? I don't know if they, they can't end. There's too much for them to kill, I think, in time. But yeah, it's just Samira. Again, Samira, I would put in the same category as Kane. Is like, it doesn't have to be hard. Like, oh, she's bought a rune and that's why I didn't do damage to her. But yeah, Samira is not hard to play. You just have to smash your head on the keyboard in the middle of a team fight and it works well. Obviously, our comp kind of sucks because we have a Varus top lane, but yeah, they can't end. But they can maybe go... Oh, no, Randuin, not Runin. Sorry, yeah, Randuin. Okay, well, let's try and obviously if we can get the Dragon Soul, it would help. Yeah, that just shows, man, this game ain't over. Oh, if no one else could have stopped his base there. That's so bad by the Samira. Oh, that's really bad by me. <laughs> I don't have smite anymore. <laughs> oh boy, why did I do that? I don't know. Um, guys, it's a bug. I don't. I don't know why. I don't have smite. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'd the best. They didn't go for it in the end. Okay, do we try to go for the end because Samira's dead? Two hundred damage. It was on the low side. Take all their buffs. Remember, stealing buffs nowadays means more than it ever has because you're actively taking the buff away from the enemy team, all of them. Though like, it's pretty good to do that. I might go. I am actually tempted to go Axiom Arc. Ooh.
Collector. I just can't beat Collector. She just touches me. Oh, we lost. Varus didn't go to the fight or something. Wait, where was Varus? Did he base or... He has to kill her. There's no way. If he doesn't kill her, we lost. He's just going to W. Oh, wait, what? I did very little damage. I think we just lost. Oh, I literally can't deal with the Samira because one, she's got Randuin and two, she's got Collector. She literally just sneezes on me and I die with Collector. Again, yeah, still a good game for the challenge, but it's a shame to lose that, man. But Samira is just too strong. Oh, that sucks. Oof. But again, that's the benefit of playing an all-in champ like Samira. She does just have that extra strength in solo queue, it feels. To be fair, I also have to give props to the Rakan. If you notice, like, that Rakan was glue to that Samira. Like, genuinely glue. She does, the Rakan did not let the Samira out of the sight, and that really helped the Samira. Like, genuinely. 70k damage, Samira. Look, she was literally the only person in their team that did damage. She basically, I wouldn't say she 1v5'd. I think the enemy team 2v5'd. It was Rakan and Samira versus us. Wow. That's crazy. Like, the problem that I've got is my damage isn't too high because, like, my sole target was, like, right, kill Samira, and I just couldn't. In the combination of Shield Bow, Randuin, and then her damage back on me with then Collector, I don't know. It just was useless. Anyway. We go 13 kills, 9 assists. Uh, this is obviously for the challenge. 17.8k gold. And 247 farm. And I didn't get a multi-kill of 3 or higher. But yeah, that, I don't know. Again, having a Varus cheese pick is always going to be bad for our team comp. So, you know, it has to be said, if we had a proper top laner that stands on top of a Samira and sees Caesar, that's a pretty good counter. Unfortunately, we have a Varus. <laughs> so it is what it is. It's annoying. Like, I I, I think I mucked up a little bit in that last fight. I went in because I was like, oh, that's a good time to go in. And then apparently Varus wasn't with us. But I swear he was with us, but he must have based. Which is unfortunate timing for us, I guess. But anyway, I'm going to upload it because it's an interesting game at least. Uh, if you did enjoy it overall, do throw a like on it. Throw a comment, throw a subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Cool down. regime I know how to unleash eternal power